Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign for the Geminis. It is the week of July 4th. So, happy independence to all Americans out there, all you Geminis or Americans, and who are celebrating July 4th. I want to say um, thank you to each and every person out there. You have been such a support. Thank you. And, um, um <laughs> it's a wonderful um celebrating my second year um and that is going to be on july 4th and i'm going to go live so all the people who want to connect with me live um let's connect on july 4th i think it's going to start at 11 o'clock eastern standard time when everybody sleep out and do their stuff and whatever Okay, I'm having my hair in my face. Okay, um, <sighs> gotta clear my energy. I just had a negative experience with someone, so I have to clear my energy and realize that I can't give away my power to people, no matter what it is. It's so strange that people can be so rude, but anyway, all right, it's a week of a fire. And the energy of fire and the wheel of fortune is here it's going to be a wonderful week um, Tuesday and Thursday is going to be a good day for you through Tuesday and Thursday is going to be a good day for you you have only number one you're gonna be working with a lot of people a lot of people are going to be in this week working with you a lot of people are working with you in this week so there is going to be a lot of changes the wheel of fortune comes and it's going to help you it's not really going to bring you fortune but it's going to bring you certain situations in your life that you need to balance so this is going to be extremely good and it's going to be um, a time of positive um, transition and that sort of a thing and then it's going to clear you out of wonderful aspect and wonderful things so this is good okay as we move forward and we're looking at these energies um, we have the energy of um, the Prince of Pentacles so the focus for some people is going to be on the Prince of Pentacles you're either going to vibrate with the Prince of Pentacles focus or you are going to be connectively active with this Prince of Pentacles so it can be two different uh, and three different scenarios it can also be that some people are connected with this Prince of Pentacles which is in a relationship and um, um, whatever is happening with this energy of the Prince of Pentacles that is in a relationship this is a sort of a thing that is a business relationship so there has been something with you and the Prince of Pentacles but also the King of Wands and there is a scenario of something a business situation maybe it's not a business situation maybe this uh, um, because this King of Wands is an Aries and he is he has been um, been an effect in your life which you know certain aspects certain things was done and that sort of a thing and um, what is going to happen is that he is going to be um, a part of uh, this sort of a scenario that is happening but um, whatever you three are having because um, it can be a business situation whatsoever is happening um, it's all about business this week as you look at the week it's all about business it's all about new beginnings business it's all about connection work so this is going to be your focus the Prince of Pentacles so you can either carry its vibration or it's going to affect you that uh, people between the ages of 18 and 35 is going to be um, really bringing out this aspect in themselves that they are seeing this sort of a scenario working okay as we go forward um, 
we are going to look at the week first and then I gave give you a, a ball to ball to comment on it we have the energy of the king of pentacles the king of pentacles is here on monday so as i said this this week is all about work um, money connection business connection and uh, um this is the sense that with this energy vibration of uh, this king of pentacles there is something coming in because the king of pentacles is here connecting with also um bringing in certain aspects so it says your materialistic needs so, so in this form it could be a boss it could be someone who are connecting with it could be your mother of um your mother and your father that sort of an energy vibration so it can affect each individually differently this king of pentacles but whatsoever is happening he is going to bring in certain things in your life and certain aspect in your life so this is going to be a positive one a good clear positive one so this is going to be good as we look at a Tuesday there is going to be a wonderful new beginnings um, justice is here so if you are having a situation um, a legal situation you're going to win this situation so on Tuesday if you're having a legal situation you're going to win the situation because the energy vibration of justice I'm seeing balancing coming to some people so for people who are having legal situation you're going to win for people who have been in unbalanced situation which uh, situations that were having happening in your life that it has been affecting you and this sort of a thing then you will see how wonderful and how positive this sense is and how it's working in your life okay as we move forward we have the energy vibration of Wednesday the Prince of Pentacles as I said so there's a lot of Pentacle people who are coming in this week with also the energy of the hand press so whatever your situation is monetary wise things that you need new houses this sort of a thing you're going to see that it is going to happen for you in this week on Thursday which is a good day you're vibrating the ten of um, swords in reverse which is so wonderful so positive it's a very good energy so, and you're vibrating with it in reverse and this is a good positive energy which you're seeing a certain aspect coming out in certain situations coming out so this is extremely positive and extremely good but you're not protecting yourself so you have worked on certain aspect that the, the ten of swords whatsoever that was going on and people were backstabbing and all of that sort of a thing and uh, you are going through a phase, a negative phase with certain things, and it has to do with um, an Aries person, or it is an Aries or a a Leo person. It that's that's all over. That's all over. This this situation is all over. As we look at Friday, we have a rebirth, that in that and transformation. So that is a rebirth, and this rebirth is is good there is a rebirth conflicts are happening so as I've always said with conflicts is a rebirth because it's a cleansing of a situation that there were a situation that was going on and there were conflicts that was happening and this conflicts is going to be cleansed because there's going to be a rebirth so as we move forward and we look in the weekend on Saturday you're going to really take take it easy it's going to be one of those very nice days when you're calming down from the um, the extent of the week on Saturday and this is going to be a very very nice time because you are re-energizing yourself and this is extremely good on Saturday to do as we move on to Sunday we have the energy of the um, the king of uh, cups and the king of cups energy is a wonderful energy because the king of cups it's the the ninth is the energy vibe the energy of the full moon so this is extremely good because the king of cups is bringing in um 
love but it's also the energy of bringing in love at the same time so this is just so positive so wonderful and so good at what is happening so we understand what exactly is working for us in this week and this is good so the energy of the king of cups coming in on Sunday is good because the king of cups is the energy vibration of a transition so there's a lot of stuff that is happening it's a it's a really a week of business it's a really a week of work and business because you're seeing all these king there's new beginnings and justice and you're having the kings of the king of cups with money is coming towards you but this is having a connection with the king of cups so whatsoever is happening here is a positive endeavor uh, Saturday it's a day of revitalizing yourself re-energizing yourself there is um, whatever conflict there was whatever situation that was going on with you that you have felt as if someone have done you injustice or there was injustice um, without you knowing it's it's clearing up on Thursday and on Friday there is going to be a rebirth there is going there is a lot of conflicts that is going on but this conflicts outside conflicts that has nothing to do with you as I look at the love energies there is not much of love in this week there is is a week that you have tried to find out and sort out certain aspect of yourself certain aspect of your life this sort of a thing and um, what is happening is that there is certain um, situation in your life that need to be ill and there were situation that was happening without you knowing that and on Tuesday the energy of justice is going to come up so that is a positive energy if even you don't have any situation with a legal it is all about balancing your masculine and feminine self and this is the point where you're going to stop yourself from moving away and move away from certain aspects so whatsoever has happened um, this is going to be a week where a lot of endings and new things are coming in new people are coming in to connect with you but still have a situation that has been happening for a while you're going to see changes coming up and changes happening in your life in whatsoever aspect this is you are going to see that changes is going to happen in your life and you're going to see wonderful positive changes whatever conflicts that is going on on friday there is going to be a transformation in this conflict that is going on and you're going to be aware of it and yet still you can uh, you can stand out and vibrate on your own energy vibration despite of all the things that is going on because there's a lot of outer conflicts that is happening and but the debt energy is bringing the transformation okay it's conflicts the five of ones is always conflicts and the debt and transformation is bringing out something very very positive so whatsoever has been happening in your life you can see this because the energy is so it says uh, the tumbling down of things uh, things that was um, negative things that people and, and people and places and things was happening and this is now being in transition I'm working with the vortex and the energy of the vortex is coming up and what we have for you guys let me put on my glasses because this seems to be a wonderful energy the energy of the vortex we have by default I could have a track on wanted relationships oh my god By default, I could have a track on wanted relationships. Many of the relationships or experience you have attracted, you would not have deliberately attracted if you had been doing it on purpose. 
but much of your attraction is not done by deliberate intention but rather by default it is important to understand that you get what you think about whether you want it or not and um, chronically thought about unwanted things innate or acts for matching experience the law of attraction make it so okay this has <laughs> okay I am I'm, I'm, I'm laughing because I just had an experience that is so weird and it's just only to show that the energies are changing and people are just really being a, a, a bit cookie even the ones who think that they're so balanced because I just experienced the most a shocking experience and I am I'm, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what went on but you know I started the reading and I said okay I just had an experience and this is just one of them by default I have a track on wanted relationships and trust me people I seems to be doing that in my life I'm always attracting these people because it's really by default that I attract that person and by default we always tr attract these people in our lives and honestly seriously this is what is happening right now because we tend to attract these people in our lives so you know this is something else because I'm so glad this card came up because as I look at your reading too is that you have been attracting the the energy the fire sign people and this is not really matching with your energy vibration because I've seen this played out for you guys before and this is what you have attract in your life and we really in default sometimes we're in default mode because we all go through these mode and we attract is as if people also who is in grief and then you begin a relationship it never works out because you were just two people were in grief and that's when you choose to um, you know attract that person or feel attracted to that person so you know that's one of the scenarios that works out okay your next card and final card is from the abundancy and that's the back of the card it's so beautiful and it says the only economic that matters that you have and can actually put money in your purse your wallet or your cracks of your so far in the the economical sense created by the thoughts and words and action every day someone new near you becomes a millionaire and that is so true every day someone near or close to you become a millionaire by changing their energy vibration and understanding more about who they are as a person and this is a wonderful way to finish your readings and I want to say to each and everyone out there remember and um, be careful on um, 4th of July for the Americans who are celebrating and for the rest of the people I want to say to each and every person please like share these videos I'll be live on July 4th for the people who would like to connect with me i'd be liked online and i want to say to each and every person please like share these videos thumbs up and i'm saying namaste until next time